Shalom, brothers and sisters. Today, I want to talk about the angel's first message, the book of Revelations. This, all these, me these messages, we need to heed them. The future's approaching day by day, minute by minute. The day, the day is approaching when this stuff is going to go down. So I want to, I want to read this, these to you. It's uh, Revelations 14. We'll start uh, four, uh, six, the verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel, good news or gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear Elohim and give glory to him, for the hour is judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of the waters. So this, that was, uh, that, that was verse uh, seven, by the way. Well, what are we going to take away from this lesson and this warning? The angel is coming with the everlasting gospel. The gospel that Yeshua taught, preached. He's coming. You know, Yeshua is coming on that day to judge. We better be ready. And how are we going to be ready? We're going to be ready by doing his will, doing the Father's will, being strong in faith, praying. And we've got the scriptures on our side, the manual of life, to teach us his things, to warn us. It's not just a history book. It's full of prophecies, warnings, and how to live a proper proper life, a, more, a moral life. And... The three angels' messages are very important, very important in their their own way, and we got to heed them. It's just it's just that simple, you know. We got to continue into faith that was once delivered. We got to continue into faith, and faith might waver and go down just a little bit at times and bounce back up. And we also got you know fellowship. We got our brothers and sisters to encourage us, and we encourage them in their time of need, you know. But yeah, the everlasting gospel is coming, coming down upon us. The good news of the kingdom of Yahweh. That is the good news. His kingdom comes and his will be done. You know, you can't get any clearer than that in the message. You know, some people think Revelations is a scary book. And some, like I said in another episode, some, some scholars then wanted to do away with it. You know. I don't know. It's it's something that some some people think it's too complicated to uh, you know read and study and decipher. Others just think it's a horrible book as far as the the doom and gloom involved. But there, at the end of the and and end of, at the end of that is you know everlasting joy, peace, loving with our Creator, with our big brother. You, I mean, you can't beat that. I mean. <laughs> We all want peace. I mean, people in their right minds, we just want peace and love and to live and love our families and have our brothers and sisters, friends, and get along. And we don't want no chaos, turmoil, misery, pain, suffering. And we certainly don't want death. You know, and death is going to be eradicated in the kingdom of Yahweh. Yeshua is going to see to that. But the angel's message is very important. We got to heed the warnings, not just here, but all the warnings from the the, the apostles, the, the prophets, um, the, the patriarchs, the Psalms, Proverbs. We got to heed and Psalms and Proverbs. Of course, got a lot of good 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 quotes, good advice about the proper way of living, you know, the way of life, and it's all inspired by Yahweh. You know, so this angel's message is very important. And just when you get your book, get your Bible out, read read that three angels' messages, meditate, pray on it, think about it, and ask yourself, you know, are you in the right in the right with Yahweh and Yeshua? And if you're not, it's not too late for you. And I pray, I pray that you you know, you, you get right with them and you continue to be right with them. Sure, you're going to fall every once in a while. You know, you're going to be tempted or might sin where you could 
repent and ask for forgiveness. That's grace, the free gift. You know, we're all, after all, we're human. Yeshua was, you know, he came, came in flesh and blood and he knew the pulls and temptations, you know, that we go through. He, he, he learned that firsthand. It was difficult for him, but he, he was sinless, but he was tempted and he felt some of them pains that we do. So just what, you get, you know, get your Bible out and check up on, on those messages and, to, you know, you, you take away a lot from that. I promise you that. And with that said and done, I thank you again. Please like, subscribe, hit notification bells, comment below. I'd like to hear from you. You're always welcome to. No censorship or anything. I don't censor comments or nothing like that. Um, you're entitled to your own opinions and stuff like that. And please share, please share this with anybody and everybody else. I thank you again. I wish you a great day, better fruits and everything else. With that said and done, thank you. Peace out. Shalom.